here's a mini that I definitely want a couple more of. This is not in the undead horde, and I don't I don't know of any more. I know of a couple mummy lords that are in sets. There may be maybe a, another mummy, but I can't remember. So this is definitely a mini that I want to look into uh, on getting a couple more. This is uncommon as well, and this is number fifteen of forty. This is actually a really, really nice looking mini. But you'll notice with the uh, the heroes and monsters, they're on these little discs, and then they're stuck to the to the actual plate itself. But I mean, it's something that's so minute you really don't notice, and unless you're really, really, really looking at the mini. But I do like the pose on this mummy, and I would probably look into getting a couple more. And he's got a big old smile too, so he's definitely a happy zombie. And uh, he likes long walks on the beach. <laughs> so stupid. All right, so here's our here's our first hero, which is number sixteen, a human rogue. Good looking mini. I like the cloak and how he's holding it up, kind of hiding his face and stuff. But uncommon. Definitely looks nice. Be a good good to. Get a couple more of those and use them as bandits or something. But then again, there's a lot of other bandits in the other set. So, human rogue, good to use as an NPC or maybe an assassin or something. So, all right, here's another hero. Here's the human ranger, 17 of 40. He is also uncommon. This this guy's got a great look to him. You can actually tell he's got a goatee. In the later set, this is actually painted better than a lot of the other sets. Now, in the other sets, that would have been a totally b a brown circle on his mouth. It would have looked like he would have been gagged or something like that. Oh, look at the little dagger on his boot. Holy cow. Now, that is totally awesome. Look at that. Try to focus a little bit better. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool, man. That's little details that that are subtle, and I like. I like the dry brush look on the cloak. Definitely rangerish looking with his bow, his bracers, and his, he's got a sword. Yeah, this looks good. Good, uh, good miniature, definitely for sure. Seventeen of forty, uncommon human ranger. All right, kind of moving on here. Kind of move some of the other minis off of the wheel. We got a uh, we got some more heroes coming up, which are cool. Yeah, they really grouped them all together rather nicely, also, which is cool. All right, so here is number nineteen. This is the, I'm sorry, number 18. This is the Elf Wizard. Good looking pose. Not too sure if that's a male or female. Probably a male. Not too bad though. Focus a little bit better. Cast a magic missile. All right, so now we have number 19. This is the Half Elf Cleric, Half Elf Cleric, 19 of 40, also uncommon. And you'll notice that this is the female cleric that was also in the Champions of Evil pack that had the zombies and the succubus. And this is the female, just painted differently. The one in the Champions of Evil was painted uh, with more dark colors and stuff like that. So there you go. Nice detail though, I like it, especially with the uh, the tap, you know, the tab, you got the tabard on the front. Yeah, looks good. Got an implement, got a cross implement, sword. Yeah, really cool. All right, next year I like this. This is a twenty of forty. This is an uncommon dwarf. 
great looking mini. You get that huge, big old two handed battle axe standing there like, uh, you're not getting by me, dude. Nice armor, nice detail, nice winged helm. I like that. Nice subtle colors of green in there, long hair, long beard. Yeah, it looks really good. Dwarf Fighter 2040, also uncommon. Here is a Human Druid 21 of 40. Not a lot of Druid mini uh, miniatures. Nice female Druid. Looks like she's holding like a pack of scrolls or maybe a dead roll or something like that. Got a pack. Really nice detail on her belt and robe yeah this is a great looking mini is her eye painted a little off oh wow look at her eyes like painted way lower on the right hand side <laughs> that's all that's almost like uh what is it uh sloth from the goonies almost hey you guys yeah i think they messed up on her eye on this one but nonetheless still a nice mini just don't just don't look at her face <laughs> So yeah, here we go. The uh, Human Druid female, 21 of 40. And then here is our last hero. Uh, not our last hero, but of this of this run. Here is the, uh, the Gnome Fighter, 22 of 40. And the Gnome Fighter is also uncommon. Good looking gnome, look at that. Looks like a little leprechaun, doesn't he? Ah, top of the morning to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and shiv you with my little short sword. Yeah, Gnome Fighter 22 of 40. Looks really good. For a little mini, the uh, detail is actually quite nice. Nice detail on the pack, on his backpack. Yeah, not a lot of Gnome, not a lot of Gnome Fighter, no, actually not a lot of Gnome miniatures at all. However, there are some Gnomes in other series, I will say that. Paizo has been really good about doing the you know, the races that are more uncommon than, say, the human and the elf. So, now this is another mini that I would like to have a couple of. And this is the last uncommon mini in uh, the Heroes and Monster set. This is the Dire Rat. This is actually a really big, small miniature. And this is a small base. And uh, this is the Dire Rat. Like I said, it's uncommon. Really nice pose. I, I like the mold on this. So I will definitely be looking for a couple more of these dire rats. Look at how the tail kind of follows the, the base. It's really cool. But nice detail though. I really, I really like this mini. Really nice. I'm gonna clear off the wheel a little bit now. Yeah, really, really nice minis. Now we're into the rares which the rare minis inside of heroes and monsters there are 17 <laughs> i was shocked but there are 17 rare minis which is uh quite uh you know quite quite astonishing but here's the first and and, and i was actually i want a couple more of these too there's a couple of larger gargoyles but this is a really nice gargoyle. This is also from Champions of Evil. So, yeah, this is a, a nice gargoyle. I would like to have probably two more. I've already got this and the one from the Champions of Evil. So, two more would be good. This is rare. So, this, I got this, I think this is like five bucks. And I hope I could find a couple more for five bucks. But, I don't know. I got really lucky getting most of these at, you know, three and four bucks a piece. So, it was one seller that must have opened up a bunch of packs years ago. So, but I, I scarfed them up. Yeah, this is a really, this is a really nice mini. Gargoyle. Not, like I said, there's not a lot of medium gargoyle minis. I mean, it, there's just not a lot. So, there's a couple, you know, larger ones. So, here is a number 25. This is a half orc barbarian. Look at that nice detail on this guy. He's rare as well, like I mentioned. 
Now look at that skull hanging off of his uh, backpack. That's really cool. Nice detail on the armor. Looks like a, like a splint now, maybe. And then some maybe plate epaulets or something like that for his shoulders. Yeah, this looks really good. Got his axe. That'd be a good barbarian miniature, a fighter miniature. Yeah, especially I, I love half orcs. They're orcs and half orcs are pretty much my my favorite races in uh, fantasy games. And I like the dragonborn also, but dragonborn only in Pathfinder. But yeah, twenty five of forty half orc half orc barbarian. Well, like I mentioned, for the rares, there's a total of 17 rares. I mean, that is like, there's more rares than anything else in this set. So, yeah, that's that's pretty insane. So here's a Spectre. I believe that this is also a, a uh, regurgitated mini from the Undead Horde set. And I believe this is almost like the very first promo mini that came out in 2010 at Gen Con. I believe this is kind of like the Festering Spirit, but I don't think it's the same exact mini. But yeah, this is a nice looking mini. But I mean, I've already got quite a few of these from the Undead Horde cases that I've opened up. So, but de definitely a nice mini. That's for sure. This is rare. 26 of 40, the Spectre. All right, so here we are. One of my favorite iconic heroes is actually in this set, Sela, Human Paladin. Yeah, she's she's badass. Twenty-seven of forty. She's also rare. Look at the detail on this. This mini is absolutely awesome. I would totally use her in a game that I was playing a paladin. There's no doubt about it. She's even got her deity symbol on there. What is it? Who is she? I don't know, Saren Ray or something? I don't know. Yeah, this is an amazing looking mini. One of the better looking minis in the set, actually. I mean, they all look good, especially from, you know, 2011, 2012. I mean, they all look good, but this is one of my one of my favorites of the set. Yeah, she looks awesome. Looks amazing. Girl, you are looking good. All right. Yeah, here's another good one. Here's uh, another rare werewolf, 28 of 40. There's quite a few other werewolves and were beasts like werebores and were rats and were this and were that. So I think I'm good on were creatures, but I do like to pose on this. And this is a medium sized creature. And he is actually pretty large. So he's he's got a good but I mean, you think werewolves are big anyway in all the movies you you watch, whether it be, you know, the old school black and whites or even underworld. So, yeah, good looking werewolf. All right, so here's one of the more expensive minis in the set. This is a Medusa. I think this is about this is about ten bucks or so, ten fifteen bucks. And she, uh, yeah, she's a good looking mini too. Let me kind of focus a little bit. There we go. She's got a nice big snake kind of wrapped around her. And her hair. Got a good pose. Definitely looks like a Medusa, that's for sure. Good looking mini. She's rare. 2940. This is one of the more expensive minis in the set. Just as a uh, a little warning for you. Alright, so I'm gonna take a couple more of these off. Because we've got uh, more rares now. 